Today is a big decision. I need to decide whether I want my stop motion character to have a ball and socket joint like Dan or a wired armature like my Tiki character here. I'm going to be giving you the pros and cons to both of these up next. My name is Pete, this is my animated life, today is Stop Motion Sunday. Let's get right into it. We have two different types of armatures. We've got the wired armatures and we've got the ball and socket armatures. The ball and socket armatures was used for Dan of the Dead. This is because the production was six months long. It had to be strong, it had to last for many, many hours of filming. I don't necessarily need to do that with this one. It's going to be myself and I'm going to do very short little stabs of animation. But the character is also going to be used throughout this, these vlogs and they could last for years. So what route do I go down? Do I go down the wired route which don't, don't last quite long and I have to keep remaking myself or do I go down the bow and socket joint route where it will last for many many years where we can just take pieces of the bow and socket joints out. These all get uh, un unscrewed out um, and can be replaced with another piece or we go down the whole route of wire. So there are pros and cons to both. Uh, the pros to uh, ball and socket is that we can take pieces out and re recast small parts. The disadvantage of using one of these is it's very heavy and clunky and it's hard to give the impression of a character jumping in the air and flying without using very complex and strong rigs to take the weight of it. That is where the wire one comes into use. There are pros in the wire, which is that it's a lot lighter, which means it's easier to do jumping and flying, and we don't have to make big complex rigs to uh, suspend them in the air. Uh, you can get more movement, and I suppose you can, rather than sticking to a certain arm joint movement, you can really move these arms in, in different ways. Now if I'm making a stop motion character of myself, I want to be a bit cartoony with it, so the wired armature gives me the option to make it a lot more cartoony. Uh, I can really change the way that my arm moves in an unnaturalistic kind of way, which you won't get in a, in a ball and socket joint. That's the pros to this wired armature but then the cons are when the wire snaps you pretty much have to cast the whole thing again now that can be very time consuming it's not easy to just cast one of these out in silicon or latex whichever one it is you're using it takes a couple of days to do the cast and uh, you have to use the oven uh, and not to mention the silicon itself that you have to do paint it it's a long process, so I'm undecided as to whether I go down this route with the wire for that reason. 
So I can't really give a I can't really give at this moment in time and struggling as to which which route to go down. The advantage with the wire is that I could have a very small rig and get him jumping around all over the place. Uh, with the ball and socket one, it's going to be harder for me to animate wherever I want because it's going to be very strong and heavy and I've got to think about what rig I will carry around with me. That's my dilemma. Why don't you give me a little bit of a shout on what, what, what you think would be better for me for trying to do these uh, animations of myself. I intend to have him in real life situations out and about in the real world so I'm just going to take him out with me and animate. What do you think is the best option for me to use, the wired one or the ball and socket joint one? I'm going to leave it up to you guys to uh, tell me what, what you think could be best and I will come back to you in a week's time or so and let you know what I've decided. Thank you very much for watching. Please keep watching all of these videos. Don't forget the vlog as well and uh, the new channel that's starting up, Web Disney, which will be coming every Wednesday. Uh, my name is Pete Ellis. This is my animated life. I'll see you on the next one.